The Scout class in Battlefield 1 is probably the most fun soldier class to use. Those sniper headshots are deeply satisfying and his equipment set will greatly help your team out, especially when defending. However, the skill requirement for this class is higher than typical for the other three classes. In this video, I will explain how sniping works in Battlefield 1, explain the differences between some of the primary weapons, as well as demonstrating the scout's equipment choices and give you my top tips to improve your sniping. Alright gamers, let's take a little look at the sweet spot mechanic, shall we? So if you go into the customized soldier here, we can go onto our scout class and then we go into our list of primary weapons. We can scroll up and down and you can see on the right hand side here, we have this little damage drop indicator. Now, if some of them are normal like this, but most of them have this little spot where the damage goes from whatever the base damage is at zero meters up to 100. And then for a time it stays at 100 to when it starts to drop back down again. This is what's known as the sweet spot. Now, some of these weapons have a medium to long range sweet spot. So for example, the Russian 1895 sniper and the Gavir 98 sniper have the kind of medium to long range one. The SMLE Mark III has a closer range. Gavir 95, you can see, doesn't actually have a sweet spot of 100 because it's got a high rate of fire. The 1903 Sniper, you can see very long range sweet spot there. And then if you go onto something like the Martini Henry, very close range sweet spot there. Same with the Viterli here. It's got a sweet spot, but it's a closer range and it doesn't go up to 100. And again with the Type 38. So that's the sweet spot. So you, what you want to do is pick one of those guns based on what engagement range you think you're likely to be fighting at. Attackers remain. So now you know how the sweet spot mechanic works, we can talk about how you go about setting up your position with each different type of engagement distance. The first thing you'll want to do is find a spot with some cover on one of the flanks where you can kind of limit the angle of exposure you have to the enemy team. Ideally, you'll have it sort of how I have it here where as the enemies run into the objective, you're kind of at their side. So they can't directly see you until you're already looking at them. This is going to give you that time advantage in getting your aim straight, but don't forget to find yourself some cover and stay behind it. When you have to reload, duck down behind that cover, reload, pop up, fire another shot and that should keep you out of trouble. Now at closer ranges you're going to have to rely on strafing as you see here. Side to side is the key, makes you a lot harder to hit, especially if the enemy is using a bolt action rifle as you are. And this is where the skill gap comes in because obviously the quicker you are at aiming down sights, the better you're going to do with this strategy. Now despite what you are seeing in this clip, I would suggest avoiding large groups of enemies because most of these single action rifles don't really have a large magazine capacity, so you're going to run out of ammo quick, which means if you are going to do this kind of strategy, make sure you have some escape plan ready to go. Smoke grenades are a great shout, that's all I'm saying on that one. Now, as well as the standard single action rifle variants such as the infantry, marksman, trench, carbine and sniper, there are a few outliers, one of which is the M1903 Experimental shown here. Now in its standard configuration it comes equipped with a Pedersen device fitted which we'll clip on in a minute but you can also switch it over to this standard 1903 Springfield infantry model. So you've got the option to uh, use some long range sniping but also you've got this pistol carbine equipped. Also we have the 1917 Enfield equipped with a silencer. There's also an infantry model of this, but the silence one just gives you that uh, interesting little difference. Now as the scout class, you will be weak at close range no matter what. That makes choosing a pistol a lot more important. Do you prefer precision shots with a high power pistol? Or do you prefer lots of shots with a weaker pistol? Choose wisely and equip what you prefer. Now let's look at the equipment. Here we have probably the most important piece of equipment, the spotting flare. But if you don't like that, you could also use the spotting periscope. This allows you to stay behind cover while spotting enemies for yourself and your team. Very useful. 
and underrated. Next up we've got one of the funnier pieces of equipment, the sniper decoy. You can set up three of these little handsome chaps right here and if an enemy sniper happens to shoot one of them he will be automatically spotted for you so this one's a great one for counter sniping and just quickly if you look at this chap here here is a great example of how good strafing is as a sniper at long range you can miss so many sniper shots just by strafing although eventually you will always get hit so make sure to duck behind cover every once in a while speaking of cover we have the sniper shield next you can set this up for yourself as a sniper as I've done here or as a major power move you can actually set it up for your machine gunner much more effective that way if you ask me next up we have the trip mines these come in three flavors you've got the high explosive which I'm using here but there's also a gas and a incendiary version so those are better for inside I definitely recommend the high explosive ones for outside the results are quite entertaining and finally we have the K bullets this is a standard bullet with the round turned around in it this does a slight bit of damage against vehicles it's very effective against light armored vehicles less effective against the heavier vehicles as you can see here this light tank is a lot tougher to kill than the armored car but the closer you are the more damage they do so that is the scout class hopefully now you'll have a lot better idea of how to be more effective as a scout don't forget to help your teammates out by doing plenty of spotting and planting those trip mines and of course get those juicy juicy headshots that's all for now gamers i hope you found this useful i'm fun guy thanks for watching